Wes the One says, love the podcast. If he didn't look, if he didn't book the finger poke, then who did? And surely Kevin Hogan could have said no uh, to the idea if they thought it was bad for business. And my, I actually answered this guy on, on our site and told him that obviously you need to go back and watch the fucking episode on Hogan's contract because Hogan did have the creative control. And if you look at the pay, the way he was, it was pay structured, in retrospect, when I read this contract, which I was not aware of until we did the, the episode on it, mm. that he wouldn't have got the payday he would have had it just been Nash and Goldberg. Because of the that, building. That, that 33,000 people sitting in that fucking, in that building was fucking, or whatever it was. I think it was 190, but, you know. It just, it just seemed like a lot to me. Again, they have our the, podcast <laughs> networks accountants. <laughs> but on then the again, case. I, I but then again, I was the champion and a fucking drawing one at that. So I mean, um, so so when you're there, uh, Hogan. All right, so WCW four five o'clock. That that's when you lock a show down, right? It, you don't know the day before what's happening on Nitro, oh, fuck right? No, no. So, I, I, I think that I, you know what? I none of us can remember anything. Eric can't remember Dick. I can't remember Dick. Fucking Hulk can't remember Dick. Scott probably who could remember it's past, and we'll get to that later. That since it's been a year since we lost my 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 partner, mm-hmm. um, you know. So it's like. I don't know what happened, but I know that that Hulk had worked his way somehow in that main event. And at that point, now what are we supposed to do? If we're going to turn on Bill, would we go out and punch each other in the face for nine minutes first? And Hogan I'm, had to be at, on the well, card, you, right? Yeah, so it's like... He's coming loose and he's coming after Hogan. He's not necessarily coming after me. So if I don't do the finger poke, then I'm I'm a baby face. And I'm wrestling Hogan. So he comes so Goldberg gets loose, gets into the Georgia Dome, hits the ring, and now he hammers Hogan. And as soon as he hammers Hogan, it's a DQ. And I still have the strap. Mm-hmm. And that's not what they wanted. Right. So, that's why Jamie Lee Curtis won. See? That's it right there. Because it's, it's, the, it's, just, it's just the Academy Awards and it's just fucking sports entertainment, guys. No curveballs were thrown or hit in this segment. Love somebody to do the fucking flat back up there at the uh, at the Academy Awards at Man's Chinese Theater. Fucking Chris Rock fucking worked fucking super strong Japanese style last year. Fuck. <laughs> super strong style. I, Waltman's you, popping for the reference. You come, you chop me. I no sell. I used to love that when you go over to work in Japan and be like this, like, uh, you know, hey man, right, right, right there, I'll get you in the corner, do all my shit. So, oh, no. Yeah, you know, I know my shit, you know, my knees, my elbows, just, you know, I'll put you in the fucking corner. And I, and I understand. All right, how about this? You come off the road, pit me with a fucking clothes on. Yeah? Look, give me a leg screw. Yeah? Fucking, I'll charge you. Give me a, yeah, fuck you. You understand me, motherfucker. English got better as you yeah, gave them offense. As I get as I, as I'm putting them over. 